<gasps> what is going on? <gasps> is somebody getting kidnapped? Who is getting kidnapped? This is really about to be our next victim. Child, the land grabs are weird, okay? Super weird. What? Uh, Saya, please. <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> Period. Oh, <gasps> y'all. Saya is in labor. <gasps> Who got 24 hours to pay their bills? <gasps> is that us? Please. We haven't even moved yet. Y'all, if this is who I think it is, we gonna have a serious problem. I promise you. Congratulations, Saya. Girl, why did I just open this safe file up? And this is the first message I see. Realtor missing. Hmm, your realtor is nowhere to be found. They might have died horribly. Or maybe they just took all that money and bailed to live in a private island somewhere. Who knows? Anyway, you will need to hire a new realtor to continue your real estate operations. <laughs> that message is real crazy. I mean, granted, we did not pay the realtor that we hired. But like, really? Y'all know we trying to move out of this house, so we're going to have to hire a new realtor. I'm going to go ahead and hire Kara. Hopefully she's good. And when we wake up in the morning, we can make an appointment with her. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, welcome in. If you are new here, my name is Ashley. If you are returning, welcome back, friend. So today I am excited because I am bringing you the ninth episode, The Black Widow Challenge. I cannot believe we have made it this far. <laughs> so it is the next day after our gender reveal party. Saya is now in her third trimester. She is about to pop in no time. As always, if you have not seen the previous episode, I highly suggest you go back and watch it before watching this one. That way you'll be caught up and you'll understand what's going on. So it is the next day. Our girl's needs are in pretty good shape. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna actually have her come in here and do a little morning routine because today we are going to be making an appointment with our realtor. So Saya, let's come in the bathroom let's brush our teeth we can also while we're in here use the bathroom and we're also going to take a shower saya not you done broke the toilet sis Please, we are already broke. We cannot be breaking stuff up. Y'all, she broke the sink. Stop. Saya, please, you're killing me, girl. Saya is now clean, ready, and dressed. Before we jump into the appointment with our realtor, there are a couple things that we need to talk about, friends. Multiple people said they did not want Saya to kill off DeAndre. So I ended up putting a poll in the community tab asking you guys if we should keep DeAndre around, have Saya live a double life, have her never marry DeAndre, pursue other people on the side and off them, all while trying to hide it from DeAndre, or should we stick to the plan and off him? I said whichever one gets the highest votes, that is the storyline we are going to go with. And it looks like most of you said that we should keep DeAndre and have Saya live a double life. So I definitely did not see this coming for her life, but alas, here we are. It's going to make it a little bit more complicated, but listen, I'm down for a challenge. <laughs> so we will be keeping DeAndre around and hopefully he never finds out that Saya is a serial killer. All right. So before we call our realtor... I cannot be bothered with this sink and toilet right now. Saya is hungry, so I'm gonna have her come in here and make some breakfast. So Saya, let's come in here, let's make breakfast. And we're gonna do something simple and easy, nothing too crazy because we are broke. Let's do sausage and butter grits. 
that's easy and we can do a single serving because DeAndre already went home. As y'all recall, last episode, we ended up paying our bills, which turns out to be $13,000. So we are sitting at $11,000 at the moment. We are not going to make it to the next time to pay our bills. So we have to move out. And not only that, now that we're not killing off DeAndre, we're going to have to find our next victim ASAP. <laughs> So we have our work cut out for us. Okay, perfect. Let's sit down. Let's eat this food. And then we can make an appointment with our realtor to see what the housing market is giving. I have a feeling we're not going to be able to get the house that Saya wants. If a house at all, we might end up having to rent an apartment. Oh. Hillary is texting us. She's like, I heard you and DeAndre started dating. Congratulations on landing a new boyfriend. Thank you, Hillary. All right, so Miss Mamas has finished eating her breakfast. I'm going to have her clean up. Saya, girl, what is wrong? She's so moody. After we finish cleaning our dish, we're going to go ahead and call our realtor and make an appointment because we need to leave ASAP and hopefully she can come today. Let's see what Kara says. Okay, perfect. So it says I'm on my way, Saya. Looking forward to discuss our next real estate endeavors. Perfect. So I'm happy that we can get this appointment out of the way today. And I think that we should also call DeAndre and have him be a part of this process since he is going to be in Saya's life. So let's call him to hang out. I don't know if he has work today, but we'll see what he says. You know the man's a doctor. He got to be saving lives. Okay, so it says DeAndre will be right over. Perfect. Let's see if our real estate agent has made it. No, she's not here. But DeAndre is already here, honey. Can we invite him in? Oh, he said, I don't need an invite. This is my woman. This is my house. <laughs> All right, so let's let DeAndre know we invited him over because we're thinking about moving and we want him to be a part of this process because, you know, he's somebody important in our life and that we value his opinion and trust his judgment. DeAndre is like, I am honored to help you with this process, Saya. Oh, all right. So it says your realtor has arrived, but I do not see sis. Where is she? Hello? Okay. Is she a ghost? Oh. <laughs> Child, that was weird. All right. Let's come over here and let's do a respectful introduction. Child, our realtor looks crazy. I'm going to have to give her a makeover. All right. So now that we've introduced ourselves to our realtor, I think that we should form a group because I don't think it's wise for us to just be standing in the doorway discussing business. We need to come over here and have a seat. So can we come over here and like steady sit? And then we can discuss business. All right. Child, where's DeAndre? He needs to hurry up and park his butt in that seat. Thank you, sir. So now that we're all here, let's get this conversation started. So we've introduced ourselves. So now we have the real estate menu. Let's go ahead and set our house wish list. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is set our value range, which is our budget. And I really don't know what our budget is because I kind of want to sell this house so we can get some extra money because $11,000 is just not going to cut it, honey. <laughs> so I'm just going to set a random budget. I'm going to say 10K to, let's say, 200K. 
because I want to see what's on the market. I don't want our options to be limited. We also need to set our world preferences. I am going to choose every single world because I don't want our options to be limited. So I chose every single world. Hopefully we can find something good. And I'm not going to choose any lot traits because again, I don't want our options to be limited. So I'm going to go ahead and submit that. It says, okay, I'll see what I can do. Saya, I'll get back to you in a couple of days. All right, perfect. And I'm wondering if there's anything else we need to do besides set our wish list. Uh, can we sell our house? I'm not so sure. Let's see if we're able to sell this house. Okay, so it says that we can probably get $163,570 for this house. But can we sell it though? So it looks like we cannot sell this house until we have another home to set as our main home. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to sell this house because we just don't have the funds to buy a second home. I don't know. I have a feeling we are going to end up renting, which doesn't make me happy. While our realtor is here, I'm going to actually give her a makeover ASAP because we need her to look like she means business because how else is she going to negotiate on a house for us? Like if I seen a realtor look like this, I would not take her seriously. Child, a realtor being homeless is crazy, but that's a conversation for another day. All right, y'all, we are back and our girl Kara is looking 10 times better. She now looks like she's ready for business and that she is ready to find us our next home. All right, so I think we've done everything we needed to do in this appointment. And we still have a few minutes left and I kind of want to get to know our realtor. So can we like get to know her? Saya has learned the following traits about Kara. We found out that she's outgoing, which is perfect because I feel like an outgoing realtor would be successful in helping us negotiate for a house. Let's also ask her about her taste in decor and see if she gonna find us some good finds. So she dislikes basic decor. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with basic decor, but to each its own. All right, so our appointment is over. It says our appointment is over. Saya, thank you for trusting me with your real estate endeavors. I should really get going now. Thanks for hanging out with me. See you later. Bye, Kara. We really appreciate your time. So y'all, I'm really excited to start on this journey of finding a new house. I was hoping we could do it before our baby gets here, but it does not look like that's going to happen. Um, but whatever, we'll just deal with it. So Saya just got a sentiment with DeAndre. It says, you make my day so much better. Thanks for making me smile. Aw, Saya. Y'all, now she really liked DeAndre. Maybe it is a good idea that we keep him around. He is softening up Saya. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> All right, y'all. Our appointment went so well with the realtor. Hopefully, she can find us something good. Our girl Saya is so tired. I'm going to have her come sit down, cuddle with DeAndre, and maybe take a little nap. It's been a long day for sis. She is in her third trimester. She's exhausted. She cannot wait to get this baby out of her. Y'all, look at these two. They're just so cute. I cannot take it. <laughs> All right, y'all. DeAndre is leaving. Saya is still a little tired, and she's also a little bit hungry. So before I send her back to sleep, I'm going to have her come in here and make something to eat. Let's see what we can make under a quick snack. Child, this food is expensive. We gotta start pinching pennies. <laughs> Let's do some nachos. That sounds really good. All right, Saya, it's time for us to go feed our baby. 
Look at her in this little waddle. Saya is really getting to know her way around the kitchen and I cannot say that I am disappointed. I'm really proud of sis learning how to cook cause she did not cook for chance at all. And I ain't gonna hold you, it really look like she's enjoying cooking too. I don't know, maybe cooking is her thing. Period, Saya. It came out so good. All right. Let's hurry up. Let's grab a serving. Let's hurry up and eat. It's still pretty early in the day. It's only four o'clock. I don't know if I want to send her to bed or have her go out with her friends. Because it's time for us to start plotting and start finding our next victim since we are not marrying deandre anymore y'all she ate them nachos quick as hell <laughs> i didn't even have time to finish my thought so it's still a little early in the day saya is slightly sleepy but i don't think i want to send her to bed yet because we still have some time left in the day so I think what I'm going to do is have her call up her friends and then maybe we can do like a little movie date or something and start to scout around and try to find our next victim. Because y'all know it's crunch time. We need money and we need it now. So let's go ahead and call up our friends and we're going to travel to the movie theater. So we're going to take Zadie. We're going to take Lily. We are going to take Haley. Um... Am I tripping? Where is Hillary? What the what? All right, maybe I'll call her when we get there. All right, Saya, let's go ahead and head to the movie theater. Ciao. Not nah, it's snowing at the movie theater. Saya, we got to change our clothes, sis. Hold on. Listen, dressing pregnant Sims is not for the week. <laughs> This is honestly the best I could do because I could not find nothing to fit on this third trimester belly. <laughs> All right, so now that we're appropriately dressed for the weather, our friends think we're here to watch a movie. That is not why we're here. We are here with an ulterior motive. We are here to find our next victim. So the first thing I think we should do is have Saya scope her surroundings, and find someone she's attracted to because I feel like that's going to give us a good starting point. So it says, after Saya finished scoping the room for attractive faces, she hasn't noticed anybody interesting. Saya, you are not giving me anything to work with, girl. Sis said, none of these men look like DeAndre, so I'm not attracted to them. <laughs> I'm just about to have her start introducing herself to random sim. So let's introduce ourselves to Kai. Let's do a friendly introduction. Um, Saya, you are not, oh. Wait, what? Hold on. <laughs> There's a lot going on. <laughs> because what was that? I have never seen that before. And where did we get this money from? Interest earned. Saya has earned 556 from investing. Um, uh, no, I don't think so. We did not invest anything. So I'm going to have to take that money away. So sorry about it, sis. Wait, what's going on? Oh. Hold on. This little interaction is interesting to me. Let's get to know Kai a little bit more. Um, we don't want to be romantic just yet. Let's be friendly. Let's have small talk and let's ask him about his career because truthfully, if the man is unemployed, then this interaction makes absolutely no sense. So it says Saya has learned that Kai is a mixologist at Shores Bar and Restaurant. Okay. So bartenders do be getting a decent penny, especially after tips. So I'm not mad at it. Um. 
Let's get to know him a little bit. And Saya, I need you to get up off this floor. So we learned that he's a jester personality type. So clearly he's funny. And y'all know Saya likes funny people. So I feel like this could go somewhere. And Saya has learned the following traits about Kai that he's a certified lover. <laughs> Wait, what does that even mean? Is that why them little hearts was like radiating on his body? That's kind of crazy. Oh, look at her giggling. Y'all, she is having quite a bit of fun with Kai, and she's only met him five seconds ago. I'm going to have them form a group, and we can take this conversation inside because Saya is just... Let's add to group. Saya is on the floor, and it's just embarrassing at this point. <laughs> Let's see if we can go inside. Um, can we grab some popcorn? Yeah, let's come in here and grab a serving together. And she sits on the floor again. You can't make this up. Saya is just too tired. She's like, this heavy belly is killing me. Lily girl, where are you going and why are you so sad? We need to spend a day with Lily and find out what's going on and what's tea with sis. Because every time we see her, she is just so sad. Let's go inside and let's watch a movie. Let's see, what theater can we go into? There's two theaters in here. Let's come in this one. We can sit in this middle row. Let's come in here and sit together. Actually, no, let's come sit in the two-seater one. And then we can come in here and watch movie. And let's watch Friday the 13th. <gasps> what is going on? Is somebody getting kidnapped? Who is getting kidnapped? <gasps> I'm sick of it. At least it wasn't Lily. I don't think we know that lady. <laughs> All right. Can we go and sit and watch the movie now? Sai is just staring at this man. She's definitely plotting. All right, let's go and watch this movie together and we can get to know Kai a little bit more. I'm thinking this might be our next victim, y'all. What y'all think? First of all, they didn't even sit in the seats I told them to sit in. So let me actually control Kai. And we are gonna go over here and study sit together. Cause what? Y'all, it is them playing musical chairs for me. <laughs> Anyways, it says Saya is under the impression that another Sim has their gaze fixed directly upon her. So Kai is interested in Saya. So well, y'all know we're gonna take this and use it to our advantage. We're going to accept his advances. I feel so sorry for poor DeAndre because even though Saya is into DeAndre, there's just certain things about her personality that he's not going to be able to change. Um, so can we like steady sit? Please and thank you. I'm going to have him come over here and steady sit with Saya. And let's watch this movie together. This is really about to be our next victim. Kai don't know what's about to hit him. He is sitting here cheesing. And little do he know, Saya got something up her sleeve, honey. <laughs> Kai friend. You don't know what's about to hit you. I feel so bad for you, love. <laughs> All right, so I know we're not supposed to be talking in the movie theater, but next order of business, we need to find out if Kai is single. So can we ask him if he's single? Let's see if we got a wife to kill off. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so Saya has learned that Kai is single. Perfect. Makes it easier for us. Um, can we compliment his appearance and say that his outfit is really nice and we really like his tattoos? Okay, so he took the compliment. Um, let's also exchange numbers with him and say that we want to get to know him a lot more. We really enjoyed this time watching the movie with him. Oh. Oh, Saya. Girl, she not even waiting for me. She's like, I'm not wasting any time. <laughs> so Saya is feeling confident. She says, totally digging me. This could be the start of a beautiful relationship. So Saya is on board for this. And he's talking about... Y'all. He's talking about money. <laughs> He's like, I got money. I got cars. I got whatever you need. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> Kai is saying all the right things to Saya right now. And she is taking it all in. Okay, so we've been in here talking all night with Kai. It is two in the freaking morning and we're still at the movie theater and Saya has to use the bathroom. So we need to say our goodbyes. We already got his number. We can call him up. Let's come. Let's use the bathroom and then we can head out. We have accomplished the one thing we came out to do, which was find our next victim. Kai seems to be into Saya, and it's crazy because she is in her third trimester of her pregnancy. This man don't care. Um, sir, why are you in the ladies' room? It's them flirting between the stall doors for me. Y'all can't do this nowhere else. Child, the land grabs are weird, okay? Super weird. What? <laughs> Saya, please. <laughs> Did y'all see what Saya was thinking about? Wait, do Nancy got do Nancy got the love cream on her face? I'm curious. I'm nosy. Oh, <gasps> Nancy. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm getting out of this movie theater ASAP. Come on, Saya. Let's go home. Because it got ghetto here real fast. We need to mind our business. Let's go. I said I wanted Saya to go home, but I actually think I changed my mind. I think we should go spend the night with DeAndre. I ended up checking MC Command to see where he stays at. So I do know he lives in an apartment in San Myshuno. So let's go to DeAndre's house and he's probably going to be like, girl, why are you coming in the house so late? <laughs> we're just going to end up telling him that we were hanging out with our girls and we just lost track of time. And hopefully he's not mad. So yeah, DeAndre lives in this little condo right here. So let's head over to his house. All right, y'all, we have made it to DeAndre's apartment. Let's come over here and knock on the door. And y'all know DeAndre is making bank because, honey, look at where he lives. If we had married this man, I promise you this challenge would have been over. Now I'm really curious to know how much money this man makes. Um, He's over here on the sofa looking at TV. Can we come over here and greet him? Let's... Huh? Surprise propose? Oh, no. I don't think so. <laughs> when the hell did that get in my game? 
Uh, let's come over here and let's admire and kiss him. I think that'll be cute. Sai is like, DeAndre, I've been missing you all day. Meanwhile, this girl was up in the movie theater, smiling up in somebody else's face. Poor DeAndre. Saya just don't know how to love other people. But our girl is trying. I feel like deciding not to kill him is the first step. Our good sis is so sleepy. <laughs> All right, let's head to bed. All right, y'all. Our girl Saya is in the bed sleeping. DeAndre's in here cooking some breakfast for his woman. How freaking sweet is that? Ciao. Can the man cook? <laughs> DeAndre is such a sweetheart. I feel so bad that he got wrapped up into Saya's web. Because although Saya likes him, I feel like she is struggling a little bit. Oh. DeAndre, please. DeAndre! <laughs> Anyways, I feel like our girl is at a crossroads. We know she's cold-blooded, but for some reason, there's something about this man that is just enticing her, and she wants to keep him around. And I mean, who wouldn't? Look at him making breakfast. And the food looks heavenly, darling. Okay, y'all, Saya is up, child. Our poor baby is about to bust. <laughs> and she's not happy. She's like, oh my God, this baby gonna be here soon and I'm not ready. DeAndre is over here on the computer. I'm gonna have them come in here and grab breakfast together. Let's come in here and child, if we were getting rid of Andre, I swear to God, I would have poisoned this food. <laughs> but... We're not, so Saya come grab a serving. DeAndre come and grab a serving. And let's eat some breakfast. All right, let's finish eating because Saya needs to use the bathroom real bad. Who is calling DeAndre? Is he missing work? Y'all, he is missing work being here with Saya. DeAndre, baby, go to work. He's like, work can wait. Oh, oh, somebody breaking in? <gasps> somebody broke into his apartment. Oh, Saya, where you going? <laughs> Saya, where you going? Oh my God, she's got a gun. DeAndre, you got to come and fight this burglar away. Child, DeAndre about to head out to work. We got to fight this burglar. Saya done ran in the bathroom and locks herself in there. Oh, oh. <gasps> Period. DeAndre, let her know. Don't be breaking up into my apartment. Look at DeAndre saving the day. <laughs> Let me go check on Saya, because sis was running around in a frenzy. Oh, and she got to use the bathroom still. Yes, let's go use the bathroom. <laughs> Y'all, Saya is so big and bad when it does not count. Sis be ready to kill everybody else, but when that burglar came in, she took off. Child, I can't. Poor DeAndre was trying to go to work. And he couldn't. DeAndre, let's try to cheer Saya up. Saya, it's going to be all right. I promise. <laughs> I think it's the hormones, y'all. Because normally our girl would not care. She would snap back immediately. I feel like once this baby is out of her, she's going to be back to normal. All right, is it too late for DeAndre to go to work? Child, go to work. You got lives to save. And Saya, let's see how your needs are looking. So her needs are in pretty good shape. Let's come here. Let's come sit down. 
and let's watch some TV. It's gonna be all right. <laughs> So y'all, I can definitely see Saya coming up in DeAndre's apartment, making some changes as far as the furniture goes. And I feel like he would give her free reign to do so. So I can definitely see us remodeling this apartment to fit more of Saya's aesthetic because I feel like she's gonna be here quite often. All right, so I don't want y'all to hate me for doing this. I need y'all to bear in mind that we are still doing the Black Widow Challenge, even though we are sparing DeAndre's life. So that means we still need to pursue other people. So I'm going to have her call up Kai from the movie theater and talk to him a little bit. Child, I know this is crazy because we are sitting up in DeAndre's house, but Saya is still scandalous at the end of the day. We have morals, but she does not. <laughs> I feel like she is taking the same approach she did with Ian. Remember, Lily got kidnapped and then she calls Ian to vent to him about it. So I feel like right now she's calling him and venting about the burglar situation. But of course, she's not telling him that she's at her boyfriend's house. Wait a minute. Oh, <gasps> y'all. Saya is in labor. It's time. It's time to get birth to this baby. I was like, I got to text DeAndre. I got to let him know. We finna see him at the hospital anyway. We got to go to the hospital ASAP. Let's go have this baby at the hospital and we are going to join her. And then Hillary was supposed to come with us. So we're going to bring her to the hospital too. Y'all, we at the hospital and our water done broke. And now our realtor is calling us. Hello, Saya. I found some houses that might interest you. You should check house listings on the real estate tab of your phone. Okay, perfect. But we can't be bothered with this right now. We got a baby coming. So our man is working. He's sad because Saya is sad. Can we have him check on this baby? DeAndre, come check on our baby. Look at him. Okay, he said the baby's heart rate is slightly higher and it means they are doing well. Be patient and don't chase your labor. When the time comes, you will know. Child, we in pain. We need you to get this baby out now. All right, let's come in here. And can we like relax on the bed or something? This is the ultrasound bed. Let's come over here and let's recline on the exam bed. Hillary already in here talking to, who is this? Susamu, another obstetrician that will not be ours. Poor Saya, poor baby is scared. She's scared not only to have this baby, but her body is gonna change. This baby is gonna change everything. And then also, She's the one who killed off the baby's biological dad. So like, what if this baby asked about its father? Like, what do we say? And y'all, I don't know why her eye color changed, but it is blowing me. <laughs> All right, Saya, we gonna have to try to work this baby out of you because you are miserable right now. Can we like come upstairs and uh, Let's exercise on the yoga ball. Child, she leaking everywhere. All right, let's exercise a little bit. Let's try to work this baby out. I know, sis. I know, it's hard, but we gotta do it. And I'ma cut Saya some slack because she's pregnant, but sis, these legs, mm-mm. That's not it. Look at these two. DeAndre in here giving Saya a back massage. He's so sweet. Thank you, DeAndre. Saya really needed that massage. Can we like sway together? Our poor baby is in pain. Oh, look at these two. 
They're so cute. I can't. Okay, DeAndre, come out here and turn on the heat because it's freezing in this hospital. And then, Saya, I'm going to have you come down here and do some breathing exercises, sis, because you are in a lot of pain. Um, Let's do a breathing exercise, y'all. Kai is calling us. <laughs> hey, Saya, it's me, Kai. Do you want to go out on a date? <laughs> and why he want to go for coffee? <laughs> Kai, I'm sorry, baby, but we are in labor right now. We will touch base with you after we have this baby. Saya, let's go do some breathing exercises, girl. You have gotten yourself into a big mess. There's one thing Saya gonna do is make sure her life is so messy. That's right, girl. Breathe in. Breathe out. Let it go. Who's calling us? Zadie is wondering if I want to go over to her house and hang out. Zadie, we in labor. No. All right. Back to breathing. Now that we've done our breathing exercises, we need to find something to eat ASAP. Uh, can we go upstairs? I think there's a little cafe somewhere. I don't know if we can get anything from here because there's nobody working. DeAndre, since you work here, I'm going to have you hire staff. Child, hiring a barista is $100. DeAndre, you got it. <laughs> Child, the barista is having some technical difficulties. I'm just going to have him come in here and let's stock this buffet and then we can get some food for Saya. Let's do a lunch buffet. All right, perfect. Now that that is stocked, our good sis can come up here and get something to eat. I know she's sleepy, but she got to eat something. All right, let's come grab a servant. You got to feed the baby. Come on, let's go, sis. Poor thing. All right, let's eat our food. And then after we can take a little nap because it looked like we gonna be here for a minute trying to get this baby out. What's wrong, DeAndre? Why he sad? Shared sadness, seeing that someone DeAndre cherishes is suffering is making him sad, aw. DeAndre, please. Y'all, why is he so sweet? He's too sweet for Saya. All right, let's go downstairs and take a little nap. I hate that the hospital room is so bright. Saya is having trouble sleeping because of it. Like, sis is sleeping with her eyes open. I ain't never seen that before. <laughs> Y'all, she tossing and turning. Our sis is so miserable right now. She's like, I'm never having kids again. <laughs> we gonna make sure we take proper precautions next time. I promise you. All right, our good sis is up. We need to check our dilation and see if we need to continue working out or what. Because we are ready to get this baby out of us. So let's ask to check dilation. Did DeAndre leave? Because these doctors look scary. I guess we're going to have to ask Susumu to check our dilation because he is the only doctor that's here that's close to us. Let's do this right now. Because we don't have time. Y'all, he got red eyes. He a little scary looking. Oh. What does that mean, Doc? Four centimeters? Oh no, we got a lot of work to do. <gasps> oh my God, let's come upstairs. Hillary's up here too. Let's come up here and child, let's exercise. 
because we gonna be here for a little minute. All right, so let's try to get this baby out. Y'all, our good sis is walking all up and down this hospital trying to walk this baby out. I know, Saya. Let's continue to walk it out. Go for a walk. Because this baby is making you do some work. He not trying to come out. All right, can we come down here and check our dilation again? And let's have DeAndre do it. I hope he washed his hands when he came back in here. <laughs> All right, what's going on? What's T? How many centimeters are we? What's that mean, DeAndre? Six centimeters. <laughs> oh my God. Saya is over it. When we get to eight centimeters, I'm gonna have her ask for an epidural. But for now, we have to continue walking this baby out. Child, now she walking outside in the snow. <laughs> Who got 24 hours to pay their bills? <gasps> is that us? Please? We haven't even moved yet. <laughs> I hope that's not us. We controlling DeAndre, so maybe it's him. Who is calling us? The end is near. Make preparations. Y'all, if this is who I think it is, we gonna have a serious problem. I promise you. It means... Y'all. All right, he's still playing on our phone. We are in labor. I'm not playing with Chance. I'm not playing with him. I promise you. Oh, I'm so happy that we are having this baby today because this man, what's going on? Is DeAndre not here? Child, these Sims don't listen. Let's ask, who is this? Right, Rio, Rio to check our dilation. After we have this baby, I'm not playing with Chance no more. I promise you, we are gonna get rid of him and Willow. How we looking? Okay, so we're nine centimeters dilated. Saya is sleepy. Sir, can you give us... Oh my God, and she's hungry. Can we get an epidural like ASAP? Because it's almost go time. And we don't wanna feel any pain. All right, our good sis is getting her epidural. Child, I know that's painful. Saya, make sure you don't move. We don't need you paralyzed, sis. Thank you, doctor. Okay, let's see how we looking. Hopefully, we're fully dilated, finally. DeAndre, you better have good news for me. <gasps> it says you're fully dilated. Talk to one of your obstetricians to go into labor. <gasps> Finally. <laughs> All right. Now that our good sis is fully dilated, we can come up here and give birth. I don't know if I want her to give birth on the table or do a water birth. Maybe we should just do a water birth. Let's come over here and have baby. And DeAndre is going to help us give birth to this baby. He's like, you ready? You ready to do this thing? So he's like, yeah, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> All right, y'all. It is go time. Let's have his baby. I wish DeAndre was in his lab coat, but honestly, beggars cannot be choosy. So let's hurry up and have his baby. Come on, Saya, you got this girl. DeAndre's by your side. He's gonna make sure nothing happens to your baby and nothing happens to you. 
right, y'all, it's time. Congratulations, it's a boy. So we are gonna name our baby Grayson. Congratulations, Saya. It's a baby boy. Aw, look at him. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I had to get some pictures. Oh, they got Saya's bottom half naked. I don't know why they did not put her underwear back on. But I'm so happy we finally got this baby out. <laughs> oh. Okay, DeAndre. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. It definitely took a turn of events I was not expecting. I was not expecting to keep DeAndre around, but y'all love him. So I'm going to keep him just for you. However, we are going to continue to pursue other people and Saya is going to be living a double life. Next episode, we will probably hang out with Kai and we got to keep it a secret from DeAndre because we don't want to upset him. And we also got to keep DeAndre a secret from Kai. And honestly, I can't say that I'm upset we're keeping DeAndre around because look at him. He's such a good dad. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.